morning, fellow zombies. Are we alive yet? Or are we awake yet? It's 4.04 in the morning Pacific Standard Time. It's the August 1st of 2023. It's Tuesday. This is the Weaver John C. Roseman, California. You're zombie out here. Sleep deprived and emotionally screwed up. All right. Well, they keep bouncing around on YouTube at this point over here from pundit and pundit to pundit. And yeah, I'm responding to this one here too. There was a Harry, Pennsylvania wing gang happened on Saturday. You probably got the videos on this one. <laughs> Conservative broadcaster. He goes out there and what happens? He's talking to all these people. He's trying to be everything else and he's having a good old time trying to show he's having a good old time and, and all these other people out there are showing that they're having a good old time at this Trump rally. Okay, fine. And then you got them opening up, and they think it's a fucking joke, but they also, yes, I did use the word, so this is going to need to go downhill real fast. Oh, yeah, we want to kill them all. Kill them all. That's the thing. That's the clip. That's the one that keeps pop, popping out. And then he, next thing is uh, seeing the clip is he's back in the rally and he's trying to explain away. Now, he didn't hear him. It was too damn loud. And he just had the microphone. Okay. Microphone. What do you think about what's going on over here? Oh, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I think we gotta kill them all. We gotta kill them all. And everyone's going... And you can hear him clearly on this one. You can hear it absolutely crystalline clear. Kill them all? Oh. Okay, so basically we want all the Trumplicans to be involved in a murder, in a plot to kill people. We want them to say, kill them all. And the guy kind of denied it because, oh, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. What's the substance between one schmuck and the other one? And he's got a microphone sticking in front of the face. Oh, yeah, kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. And the people are going. We got that on tape. It's bouncing around on social media at this point over here. People keep thinking this is a damn game. We saw January 6th happening, and January 6th was not a game. <laughs> These are the same type of people who don't think. But they want to believe in an orange gas bag that badly. They worshipped him a great deal that they were willing to sacrifice their freedom, their lives, for what? To keep the orange gas bag in office? Does this actually make sense? In any kind of election that we've had prior before this thing happening here, was it logical, was it really necessary to keep telling people that you are the only one, you're the only guy there that's going to solve everything and you want everyone else to believe in you, to worship in you, to follow suit, to follow you into death, basically. I mean, that's how it's... That's how it's being interpreted right now is whatever these people are going through, they're being asked to die one way or another for this Trump. But they're also being uh, influenced by killing people left and right and think it's not it's no damn big deal. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. I was like, if I'm going into some kind of sporting event here, and that's one thing, and I'm going to see the two boxers, pugilists, are trying to kill each other left and right, or watching a football game, and we're going, kill the ref, 
kill the ref. Kill the other team. Just kill him, kill him, kill him. We want to kill him. We want blood. We want blood. Yeah. You know, you couldn't even get away with that kind of stuff these days. You couldn't even go into a baseball game, even a minor league game. <laughs> Sit above the, uh, the dugout and say, kill the other team, kill the other team. And realize the other team's right below you. Kill the ref. Kill the umpire. Kill, 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 kill. We want to see blood. Come on, Anna. come on, home team. Kill the guy. Kill the guy. You know how fast these days you get yourself arrested for that one because you just made a terrorist threat. Because you just said you wanted death and murder happening at that point over here. And you think it's all a damn game because it's only baseball. It's only. It's only. They don't get it. Because the stuff coming out of their mouth is going to get themselves into hot water, especially when they get it on tape. And it's being bounced all over the internet. And do they understand any of this damn crap? Well, I think we should shoot the guys, and I think we should do this, and I think we should do that. How about that? I mean, they're all just nothing but libtards and libtards. Donald Trump, this guy, we have to worship. We have to worship this guy. Don't you understand? If they don't do it, if, 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 then, then we got to kill him. And this is the mentality we're running into. This is the mentality we're running into. They think it's a game. You go on YouTube and, and it's all it's a game for these people. They're like... Well, don't you know he's this and he's that? He's 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 appointed from God. God appointed an asshole who wanted to get himself into financial difficulty left and right, suck people left and right, caused a lot of problems, caused a lot of, you know, causing more issues than anything else. Christ never did that. Ah, oh, but Christ is just a woke. Donald Trump's the real savior. Yeah, I've come across videos like that, too. Maggot videos interviewing each other and, and trying to perpetuate the brainwashing for the brain dead. Especially when they're beer guzzling left and right and they're trying to indicate that these guys are supposed to be, what, the regular voters now? I can understand them trying to vote for their own person. But I don't get it with these guys. You're never well, you're woke. You know what the hell that is? Uh, yeah, I know what woke is. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I know what woke is. You're woke. So I said before a long time ago, it's a biological function. From a sleep state, from a dream state. From a fantasy state that your brain had already put you through so it can reorganize itself in the next day. Or a little time after that, especially when you get a nice deep nap going on, maybe about two or three hours worth. Almost consists of the partial sleep that a body needs in order to replenish itself. And the problem is with this, people are still fussing and futzing over this damn thing. And the uh, and the media pundits online are having a conniption on this one. They're like, yeah, we got to get more, 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 more. It's like listening to the song of Rod Stewart, Dirty Laundry. Was it back in the late 70s, early 80s, I was hearing about this song being played over and over again on the rock stations? Give us dirty laundry. It was a cool tune to listen to. But when you compare it to politics, or you compare it to, I don't know, the social trashing that you'd see on some of the other stations, like from, oh, they talk about uh, the rich and the famous, or just the famous, and, have, and they're having issues left and right. Think places like ET and, and other shows that would focus on social gatherings and other whatnots. So now we're going crazy at this point, aren't we? We want dirty laundry. We want to see how the other half is going through their misery. 
We must have the misery because we love to see their misery. It gets us out of our own damn head games. I suppose it gives the maggots enough thrill at this point when they're seeing themselves on social media and they're like, Yeah, Beer Guzzling left and right! America won number one! Let's go kill some libs! Let's go kill, 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 kill! And I'm thinking to myself, are you seriously thinking about putting yourself into another January 6th situation? And I can hear the groans back there saying, Oh, wait, you stopped that already. It already happened. No, because we need accountability at this point. You guys need to understand, this shit can't happen. And yet, we have it happening. We got the states. Red states out there who are defining the Supreme Court, even though despite the fact it's conservative. And they're giving out the orders saying, will you knock your shit off? And basically, the middle bird is the middle finger, the bird, everything else that you would associate to the same. Was well, just a digit being extended, telling them to go what they could do with themselves. Now we're trying to see if the legitimacy of the Supreme Court is actually going to be followed, despite the fact it's heavily was conservatives on it. And what course of action could the Supreme Court do? Order the cops? It would fall into the hands of the executive branch at this point over here. Despite the fact that the Supreme Court has issues with itself. Oh, we're the Supreme Court. We, we could do anything else we want. We're above the law. Not really, because we still have to be governed. No, we don't. We're the Supreme Court. And there we go with the maggot mind again. Everyone's got to be following under the law, including the Supreme Court. They cannot be held above everything else. And yet they do. So now, we need the Department of Justice out there to be the hammer at this point, to going over to the states and saying, no, you guys are going to comply, and here's some of the stuff that you're going to be complying with, because if you don't, we're going to be putting you through the process. You're not going to like it, but we're going to be protecting people's health at this point over here. Now you don't. And now you're interfering with their national law. You're interfering with the state of commerce at this point over here. You're into human trafficking. You're also killing people left and right. You're in a massacre now. You're going to be against the law. The law is good, so we are the law. So now we're getting into the Civil War portion of it, the mentality of it that we actually had back in 1860. Where the states, the, uh, the Southern Dixocrats during that time, which were the images of the GOP before they turned into the Trumplicans. The Dixocrats wanted conservative. They wanted status quo, including the, including the slavery. <laughs> Conservatives at the time, the Whig Party... Republicans, they called themselves during that time. They wanted investments. They wanted to grow. They wanted to build things. In their late 19th century, early 20th century, somewhere in that time so the parties decided we're going to try the other shoe for a while. And stuck with it. But back in 1860, the Dixocrats were getting tired listening to Washington ordering things around for them. They're saying, uh-uh, we're going to do things our way. We'll split off and we'll do our own confederacy. Each state is loosely a, a, allied with the other guy, but we're going to do it our way, each state being independent. We wanted the United States where every state is supposed to be part of the union, part of the process. The only thing is, they couldn't be doing the process. Why? Because they wanted to do their own things each day. So what the hell do the other people try to tell us how to do things? How dare they? Who the hell do they think they are? Uh, the federal government, the same government that you guys are a part of. No, we're no longer. We're confederacies. How about that one? Ugh. Well, we're keeping our people. We're keeping our slaves. How about that? Ugh. So basically... He's bummed out, and what gets to me these days is even people of color or different races are still following 
that kind of logic as well. Are we seeing the breakup of the United States, or do we have to engage here in another civil war at this point? I mean, we are not in a situation where we're going to be marching armies across state lines and fighting each other. Now, well, these days, we got problems concerning about the court, and we got the problems concerning about the about voting. We got voting rights being taken out left and right by other by other states. Oh, you just may be legally entitled, but you're not really entitled to vote. In fact, we're going to be changing our voting a lot earlier, since you guys are not inclined to vote early. And we'll just take those low polls, and we'll use them as a as an advantage, and we'll gain advantage, and we'll still be on top of everything. How about that? And that's how it's happening. Uh, how the hell is history going to be able to f sort this shit out in the first place? I don't know. How do historians, you know, another hundred years are going to be looking at us and trying to figure this stuff out, going through old media and saying, were they actually nuts during those times? We must have been. We really must have been. Because now, this is like a doggy dog situation going on right now. If you're not part of us, you're part of them. You can't be part of them. Let's go kill him. Kill, 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 kill. He's a libtard, libtard. Do these guys actually understand that threatening lives like this is against laws, both federal and state? You can't do that. I know freedom of speech can only go so far, but, you know, keep telling we're going to kill them, we're going to kill them all because we want to kill, 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 kill. We're so excited, driven crazy and frenzy over there. We're going to do this. Until you actually try to do it, and then you realize what the hell you just did. But they didn't even stop on that one on January 6th. When I, and an officer was actually crushed to death on that one. Or you had a protester shot to death. In the process. And other people getting injured. And you're beating the living crap out of law enforcement that you said that you claimed that you support. And they bellyache about it's not fair. I'm going to I'm going to be insane at this point over here according to what their mentality was saying to themselves. And we're going to do some stuff, and we're going to show how patriotic we are. We're going to save an election. We're going to demonstrate how faithful we are to something while murdering at the same time and harming people left and right and tearing apart the Constitution, all because of an orange gas bag wants to stay in power. He convinced and conned people left and right how wonderful he is. He can walk on water. Evangelicals. Or like, yes, he's the next coming Messiah. He's the next coming Christ. We got to worship him. Please. So one of the pundits are tearing these guys apart. It's no wonder the left-wingers are having fun with this. And then on social media, they're trying to gather as much as they can to ridicule and denigrate anybody, including the left and right. Well, we want to see this. We want to see this. Well, we are so embarrassed left and right because... We are the progressive media. And what makes it even fun is when you have the zeros and ones, the nice lovely algorithms of the social media platforms that we depend upon. Yeah, we all depend upon a damn thing for communications and also trying to see if the news is legitimate or not. The videos I posted out are still being covered loosely under different international uh, conservative uh, news organizations out there. But I noticed that the left one isn't picking up on the damn crap. It's been the news cycle has been out there for several days already. I'm usually not the one doing conservative crap for them. I'm not trying to do it all to conspiracies. But what freaked me out is when I started seeing this one video from Houston, Texas, Fox Station out there, doing this cycle that the pundits were picking up left and right. Not not the progressive pundits, but the uh, right-wing pundits were picking up on it. 
but where was the where was the response from the left wing on that crickets not even crickets silence of course there was a closed door meeting with the one person who could try to confirm what the news story was all about at least part of it anyway but it was never explained the way the conservatives were trying to issue it out left and right. So either it was a massive fake news campaign, and then if it was verified in court records, I'd like to know what the hell uh, particular court it was so I could verify the damn records and understand that shit. I can't find it. I don't know which particular district court that that, if I'm going to mention the thing, Hunter Biden was in. And I don't know which judge has got it. Because there's no indications. But he was in federal court. And he talked to his judge. And somehow, I don't even know which the judge's name was, so I can locate it, which particular district court it was, and find out. if the story is legitimate or not. Because when I have India and I have Britain picking it up on their stations, on their organizations, how come the rest of the left wing are not reacting to the damn thing? It's been nearly a week. They're not going to say that I'm turning into a conservative nut job and, and going native at this point, no. But I am concerned. They're all focusing on the, tr the, the Trump thing going on. I know the Ukraine war is important as well. But this is also part of the system here that's going to be disrupting the Democratic Party one way or another. They'll be using this damn thing as fodder. I'm a Democrat. I'm a lifer. I haven't been turning a conservative, but I'm not exactly progressive either. I'm like a middle on a road. Do I want some things to be changed? Well, yeah, but there's always progression going on, so I have to get used to that idea. And hearing all these damn conservative nut jobs saying how some of these politicians are going to be trying to force us into a, a conservative state where our own democracy is threatened, and we are looking at it. I haven't seen this much aggravation in the 20th century than I am in the 21st century. In the 21st century, it seems like this is the challenge for America and its mentality. What it does stand for. We thought we stood for plurality. Trying to acknowledge and accept someone else's way of looking at things left and right. We may disagree a living crap out of the damn thing, but at least we're not going to be threatening to kill him. Say, for example, if he's, he's Group A and you're Group B and you're saying, kill the Group A, kill the Group A, ah, let me get some more beer. I'll stand under my red, white, and sh blue shirt here. And the other guy's going like, okay, uh, let me consult with my lawyer. Let me get the cameras on this one. Let's record all this damn stuff. Yeah, let's repeat that all again. You can't harm us. You can't stop us. We're coming. We're coming. Isn't that a nice look? And we got the people just, you got to understand, we got these guys over here to worry about. They're coming after you. They're coming after you. Shh. They're coming after you. I'm the only one that can protect you over here. I'm your shield. Put your faith and trust in me. Oh, my God. You know what kind of reminds me of? Cecil B. DeMille's movie, The Ten Commandments, when you have, oh, Edward G. Robinson pretending that he is the spokesperson of the pharaohs and he's 
trying to tell people, I give you a God of gold. What does Noah got you? And they're like, what's Moses got you? Hot air. And those pieces of rock. That's about it. I give you gold here. Follow me. Back to the slave pit so I can use a little crap out of you and have life turn to normal. And what happens during that time is special effects turn on, lightning and thunder, places go ripping apart, and people are going, ah. Still, if we actually had that happening right now, I don't know. Too much for me this morning, that's for damn sure. <laughs>